Greetings, lunar blossoms of the Venusian energies, divine feminine energies, rising up, waking up. We had another night of intense waves coming in. The Schumann resonance is back online. There is a short blackout period and then another white blast of 80 hertz earlier today. Today Venus goes retrograde, so we're feeling this deep within the heart center and also in the sacral energies of the lower Dantian into the root chakra, down through the legs and feet. Many people reporting cramps in the legs and feet. This is the roots going deep into the earth and connecting with the rising energy, the ascension energies of Pachamama. We are intrinsically linked to the Great Mother, to Gaia, the consciousness of Pachamama. We also had many earthquakes, over 132, all over the grid. Again, the ring of fire totally lit up, and we had the straight line of earthquakes 14 hours ago from South America, starting in Tarata, Peru, a 4.2, another 4.5 in Peru, northern Peru, Chapen, and then up into Texas, Menton, Texas, 3.6. And then up into Idaho, 3.3, and all the way up into central Alaska, 3.1. If you look at the map on EarthquakeTrack.com, it's almost a perfect line from South America up through North America and, and to the northern part, the northwest, up in Alaska. And then again in the Solomon, son of the moon, son of the divine feminine, the child of the Virgin Mary rising up, the Virgin Mother with this v Venus energy, the Venusian, Iesus Christos energy, of the Christ consciousness that links directly to source, which is your highest resonance, your highest resonating energy. And we also had a powerful 4.8 in the Indian Ocean, right by Madagascar, or actually in Madagascar, and Fandriana 4.8. And again, a 4.1 in the Mediterranean, just south of Italy, close to in between Italy and L Libya, Africa, in the Mediterranean. Also multiple earthquakes in Puerto Rico today. Croatia had a 3.5. So all these signs, synchronicities, all these things link to the prophecies of this great shift, this great awakening. Japan also a 4.6 with the Lemurian energies. And Tonga 5.2 on the Ring of Fire. So this Ring of Fire is totally lit up, totally activated, which connects to our heart centers. So we feel this in the heart and higher heart with these rising energies, sometimes heart palpitations or the racing of the heart, higher heart beat or deeper, feeling the beat on a deeper level as your awareness gets pulled into the heart beat. Pachamama connected to your heart chakra. We're feeling these energies in many ways now. We'll start today's transmission from Aurora Ray, a message from the Galactic Federation to the Family of Light. We have transmitted new codes to the cells of your being while you are sleeping, dear ones. You are empowered and have all the necessary tools to bring forth the liberation of your planet. We have given you the means to beat your enemies with their own weapons as you could say in your human language, there's a lot going on on your planet at the moment. It is the final battle between dark and light. Remember that light is information and therefore darkness is the lack of it. As you become informed, your enemy loses power. This light has altered your frequency. It is now up to you to hold this frequency and become the keepers of frequency so that others may access this higher frequency easier. Many are still in disbelief, but they are seeing their world and their beliefs crumble in front of their eyes. Share your light with them, inform them. We do not ask you to go about this kicking and screaming. Your task is to do this peacefully. Leave the information there for them to reference when they are ready to receive and then move on. You have signed up for this. You are prepared for it. The time is upon you now. The moment a human starts questioning their reality and the motives of those who are in control, they begin ascending from the third dimensional matrix system into 4D. This process is what we call awakening. 
This is what is happening to your people at the moment. This is the mass awakening of humanity. The 3D matrix that has kept you enslaved is crumbling and losing its very fundament of deceit, lies, and control. The system is falling and there's no more turning back. You are great warriors of light, true seekers, way showers, and the children of the sun who will bring forth a new dawn. This is your time. Do not fear. We are here with you. You can see our light ships in your night skies and you can feel us in your hearts. We have begun contacting you. Open your hearts to see the signs. As the liberation of earth proceeds, we shall come closer. This is the victory of light over darkness. Aho! We love you dearly. We are your family of light. Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation. And from Judith Cousel, we are the wayshower souls, the wanderers, the starseeds, the volunteers. We incarnated at this time to see humanity through the greatest ever dimensional shift and firmly anchor in the new golden age. We have come from our home galaxies and star systems to bring about the inward revolution, to open the heart center of humanity, and to bring them back to the greatest and highest divine truth within. We are awakening them. We are the pioneers, the task team, the cosmic vital force, and we are all now called upon to lead from the front with great love. We are the new humanity, and we have risen. From JudithCousel.com and from Isis Channelings, 40 Days and 40 Nights of Venus, Inanna, Metamorphosis. Venus, Inanna, on the final leg of her shamanic journey of 19 months, now goes retrograde, May 13, for 40 days and 40 nights. She enters this retrograde radiant in her regal goddess power and brightest light as evening star, queen of heaven, and earth, as the Libra metagoddess archetype, and will emerge at the other end as the morning star of the Gemini metagoddess archetype. Hence, 40 days and 40 nights of metamorphosis or shape shifting of initiations and tests and trials, much like the COVID portal we are currently traversing where we take the lessons, learnings, wisdoms of one archetype, time spirals, amalgamate them, revise, review them, plug in the loopholes so that we carry within our energy fields the highest summarized version of what this archetype, Libra, Metagatis, time spiral, right from the Lemurian times till now has taught us. For this recapped, revised, review version of our lessons, learnings, wisdom, talents, skills, and attributes acquired is to be the first stepping stone for the new earth constructs that we will be anchoring to build a whole new foundation of new earth. This now is where all time spirals merge to bring us our light legacy of eons, and no coincidence that the past few days, my client channeling sessions were all about re-imprinting the client's energy fields with the light legacy they have earned through various timelines, time spirals, dimensions, but with the clear knowing that now they would have to prove themselves worthy of being the guardians, custodians, and ultimately the executive force of their tremendous light legacy. They prove their worth by constant introspection of the patterns that have been their undoing over lifetimes and passing these very patterns and distortions via the transformation phoenix fires of renewal, just like Venus will undergo a metamorphosis when she gets up and close and personal with the sun for a week where hidden from earth view, the sun, phoenix fires, burns away her old identity and she is renewed, rebirthed as the morning star, but preserves within her being the essence of the learnings, wisdoms, attributes gleaned through her previous 19-month cycle. Venus's archetype of the Divine Feminine is playing a significant role in our current ascension process, and hence it's only logical that our own journeys are mirroring hers. She is leading, guiding us via her own shamanic journey of renewal and metamorphosis. Much like this COVID portal is the sun, Phoenix resurrection fires of renewal for our own metamorphosis, where we too need to prove our worthiness of carrying the mantle of wayshowers, masters, co-creators of light, before we step out on the other side of this portal 
and the only baggage that we are allowed to carry as props to our light legacy, our surrender, faith, and trust in divine will, courage and grace, humility and tenacity in the face of adversity, integrity and devotion to the light, and in service of the highest good of all. Be light in light and joy, be light in light and grace. From isischannelings.wordpress.com and from Astro Mama, Venus retrograde in Gemini, reconnection with what you value, a blast from the past returns, do you speak with love and understanding to yourself? On May 13th, Venus, the planet of love, affection, pleasure, money, and beauty, turns retrograde at 21 degrees of Gemini. Retrograde planets appear to be going backwards from our perspective on Earth and herald a time of reflection, revision, and past remembrance. Gemini, the third zodiac sign, is all about communication, play, learning, malleability, and lightness. Venus retrograde in the sign of Gemini will create many reflections and revisions around how we understand and appreciate love and things of value. During this Venus retrograde phase in the sign of the twins, we will need to be quite vocal about our relationships and how we communicate our values and desires to ourselves and others. Being that Gemini is an air sign and quite flirty and playful, a lot of these reflections and contemplations could be rather light and not too deep. Also considering that Gemini is a mutable sign which tends to be very malleable and flexible, we could feel rather scattered and all over the shop about our feelings and intentions. On Monday, we could suddenly want to rekindle a relationship from the past, and by that Friday, we could have a new fling and ignite our interest. Again, as mentioned, all over the shop, past lovers and business relationships could reappear all of a sudden. With any retrograde period, especially among the inner planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, there tends to be past people, places, and things resurface grasping for our attention. I look at this as a test to see how far we have come and to see if we have learned the karmic lessons of these people and events. Venus retrogrades every 19 months, less than any other inner planet. She is therefore felt more intensely. If you look out in the evening sky right now, you could see beautiful Venus. Evening star Venus is feminine in nature and very gentle and loving. Over the next 40 days and 40 nights, she will transition in her retrograde phase over to a morning star. Morning star Venus is masculine in nature and very forthright and aggressive. If you were born with your natal Venus sign following your sun sign, then you are a natal evening star Venus. If you were born with your natal Venus sign before your sun sign, you are a natal morning star Venus. An example from my own chart is I was born with Venus at 29 degrees of Aquarius and my sun sign at 7 degrees of Aquarius. You can see my Venus sign by degrees falls after my sun sign degree, which means I am a natal evening star Venus. I've noticed whether you are a natal evening star Venus versus a natal morning star Venus, the individual taking on more feminine or masculine traits when expressing their love and affection. Venus retrograde in Gemini is here to have you reflect and revise how you look at love, money, and what you value in life. There is an opportunity to communicate your authentic truth and learn something about what and who truly matters to you in your life. Over the next 40 days and 40 nights, the love God in backwards motion wants you to get clear about what is working in your life and what is holding you back to your true North Star. Venus retrograde in the sign of the twins is here to help you reevaluate what or who holds value in your life, spark a lesson of growth and awareness about your relationships, and teach you the value and commitment of inner self-love and acceptance. Venus will turn retrograde at 21 degrees of Gemini on May 13th, and then turn direct at 5 degrees of Gemini on June 25th. Wherever Gemini is in your natal chart, along with any planets in Gemini, is where you will be re-evaluating and revising your values and relationships. From Elizabeth Peru, the Venus retrograde, energy has shifted and Venus has just begun its six-week, once in 18-month retrograde. This is one of the most significant cosmic events of 2020. You can feel the energy rising as self-value and worth will now be called to account. 
Venus joins Pluto and Saturn, both in retrograde, with Jupiter adding to the lineup later this week. Are you embracing the power of the retrogrades? From ElizabethPeru.com and from the Nyingma Masters of Tibetan Buddhism, Dilgo Kense Rinpoche. Even if your storerooms and wardrobes are full, you can still only eat one meal and wear one garment at a time. In truth, all you need is enough nourishment to keep going and clothing to protect you from the elements. As for these two necessities, do not worry about them. The Buddha promised that no one will ever find the bones of a renunciate who has died of hunger or cold. What is the use of hesitating out of concern that you will not have enough to eat, nothing to put on your back, and nowhere to sleep? The Dharma is the best way of using your life. Have no doubt about it. From Christina Papa Giorgio, Retrograde Party, 1313 Sync Today on 13 May, being reminded by the Goddess of Love that Venus is going retrograde today. 13 represents the Goddess Energy, Cosmic Consciousness, and the 13 Moon Calendar. It governs the natural harmonic matrix. We have three planets all going retrograde within a few days. Saturn, Venus, and Jupiter. Venus retrograde starts today, May 13, until June 25, 2020. The focus is on love, beauty, pleasure, relationships, your values, money, abundance, and art. It is time to go within and harmonize your relationships, finances, and values. All are up for renewal, being reassessed to bring greater balance. Saturn retrograde. Saturn went retrograde on May 11, 2020 until September 29, 2020. Saturn is the planet of karma, work, authority, structure, limitation, and systems. It represents the patriarchal control matrix, so all these areas will rise to the fore to be balanced, upgraded, and remodeled over the next five months. Jupiter retrograde. Jupiter, planet of abundance, good luck, happiness, expansion, and growth, goes retrograde tomorrow, May 14, 2020, until September 12, 2020. Abundance and happiness will really be under the microscope during this time. Growth and expansion may be limited until you have cleared the old beliefs and found your lucky new path on the yellow brick road. So we have a grand retrograde party happening throughout our revolutionary month of May and for much of 2020, set to reshape, reinvent, and reform us into truly liberated, sovereign beings. 2020 is the year of great awakening to a better life, divine blessings for a smooth passage through these retro cycles of reflection, Christina Papa Giorgio. And from the Zolkin Times, Kin 45, Red Rhythmic Serpent. The number six is called rhythmic and its key words are organize, equality, and balance. The sixth step of any wave spell is about striving for balance, sorting yourself out, and being practical. It's day six of a 13-day journey, and like a quartermaster, you must consider what you need to continue, what tools can help you on your journey. This is not exciting, but it is very necessary procedure. Today is red serpent, and the key words associated with it are instinct, survival, and life force. The serpent is a very sensitive creature and always knows what is going on in its vicinity. Every little vibration or movement is noticed. If you use your senses today, you will know how to survive and how to organize what you need. The serpent represents kundalini energy, which lies coiled at the base of your spine. When the serpent uncoils and reaches the crown, enlightenment is said to be obtained. This symbolizes chakra alignment, and since balance is a key word, Associated with today's number, this indicates that we need to balance our chakras. Remember, we are in the wave spell of enlightenment, and so this rebalancing can really be helpful. Today is guided by Red Serpent, so it is a double helping of the energy. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Rhythmic Serpent, Kin 45, 13 May 2020, Balancing Life Force. 13 5 2020 equal 13 5 22 equal 4 5 4 equal 13 equal 4 13 13 cosmic mystic portal 13 cosmic goddess natural lore 4 form structure foundation 5 liberation change transformation kin 45 equal 9 
Endings, Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity. Day 4 in the yellow sun wave spell of illuminating our highest evolutionary path to reclaim our soul power and full sovereignty. Day 6 is where we bring ourselves into balance by drawing up our kundalini energy from our base to our crown chakra, expanding out to flow with source in our quest to become enlightened. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone 6 in the physical realm, action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today, the rhythmic tone asks you to focus on your physical world, your daily life and routine. You are driven to organize your life in better ways to create balance. Through balance, we achieve equilibrium, centeredness, and a stronger connection to source. The rhythmic tone is also known as the feng shui tone. So get it, get to it today. Organize your physical surroundings, home, workplace, garden, etc. to clear out the old stagnant energies. Balancing the energy forces creates more harmony, unlocking the fresh chi and life-enhancing forces that bring in new opportunities, prosperity, happiness, and success. We must now abandon the fear-driven, divisive reactions that separated our species. It is time to unite as equals. It is time to manifest systems of greater balance, fairness, and equality so that humanity can be freed from the loop of survival on the rat's treadmill, we can then organize to create unleashing our unique and innate creativity and talents. As the masses awaken from their slumber, Kundalini rises from their base chakra, survival mode, and they can now access and experience more of the higher chakra insights and gifts. Many of the masses have spent most of their lives in survival mode, and now the yellow warrior through fearless questioning is standing up to imposed authority. They are realizing there is a better way to live, organizing for a greater work-life-money balance. When we abandon all fear and integrate fearlessness, we begin to trust that all is well in our world. Then we can once again feel safe, secure, and protected at all times, being free to live passionately. In this stage, we can relax and flow into pure consciousness. Today's question is, are you following your instincts from higher guidance in order to restore balance and live passionately? Divine blessings for attaining more balance, passion, and vitality today. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 45, Red, Rhythmic Serpent. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to survive. Balancing instinct, I seal the store of life force with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And with this powerful Venus retrograde energy and the divine feminine rising up, as I went for a nature walk today, the glorious crystalline codes coming from the sacred sun above and the sacred divine feminine energies rising up from the crystalline core of Pachamama, merging together in the human in the middle through the rainbow bridge. Witness many beautiful beings, entities from the wing nations, the bluebird, the swallows, many water birds and baby ducks, bluebirds. Gaia brought many souls to me today. Another beautiful day of connections. Many turtles sunning themselves today upon the logs. Great beauty surrounding us. We just need to open our eyes and look around, get out to nature, ground into the earth. Stand barefoot upon the sacred mother or lay on the grasses and the soils. The body of Pachamama, she is the most healing energy. Bring in the sacred electrons of the yin energy through the soles of your feet. The sacred portals walk gently upon her flesh. Honor each step. As Thich Nhat Hanh would say, find peace in every step as we bring our awareness to that connection of our sacred soul with the soul 
of the Great Mother, the Divine Feminine, Aho. Let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, your visions, your dreams, what you're feeling, any ascension energies you're experiencing. I appreciate you all and your beautiful comments and support. Thank you for sharing these videos and giving us a thumbs up and your amazing comments every day. I'd like to also thank everyone, show my gratitude to all that are assisting myself and our team for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America. We're raising funds currently. You can learn more about this on our website, primedisclosure.com. Click on Dao de Ecuador, Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community at the top of the page. We are using the platform of Patreon. And for those who have signed up, I posted a new training today, a new practice with uh, sacred mudras and mantras, the Om Mani Padme Hum, with the Trinity, the Trine, the Double Trine Mudra, which I received in a download this morning in meditation. I'll be posting many teachings, trainings, practices, many events in the future, so you can join us there on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. I'd like to welcome and thank Kate for joining us today. Thank you, Kate, and all our other patrons. Thank you for your patronage and your support. We're also using the CBD business to raise funds. You can join us at cbdpeaceoil.com. If you've already joined our team, you can connect with us on Facebook. It's CBD Team Ecuador. I'd like to welcome today to our team, our CBD team, Kaylin. Welcome and also welcome Yaselin and Jennifer, Natalie, Vera, and Earth Crystal and Stone Creations Plus. Welcome everyone to the team. Look forward to working with you in the future. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads. And as always, in the link, and there's a link in the description below to the, to the transcripts of today's transmission. We archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. So you can visit our site. We have over a thousand archives, archived articles, and video transmissions. So thank you for joining us today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep shining your light brightly into the night. Sacred warriors of the light, keep walking your path with heart. Rising up, waking up, into the new golden age. I love you all. Namaste.